Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading now for the week of September 17th through the 23rd. Um, this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I did all of a sudden, uh, I went to go listen to a song on YouTube and I had a different, completely, completely different song in mind. I mean not even the same anything, okay. And I went to type it in. <laughs> I was just getting ready to do your reading, but I was having a cigarette, you know, because I smoke. I figured I'd have a cigarette and just, you know, listen to a song before I did your reading. But I was already planning on doing it. So your energy, for a while, I've been planning on doing your reading now. Okay. So I went to type in this song that I had in mind. And I, I don't even know what happened, but I typed in Grow, grow Old With You. I want to grow old with you. So... I was like, oh no. So I listened to it. I listened to it. And um, then it's like, I it's like, I couldn't even catch my breath. It's like, I, I need a minute to catch my breath. Okay. So I don't even know where that is coming from. Um, but something is a little overwhelming. <laughs> Probably too good to be true. Um, I don't even know what to think. Okay. I really don't know what to think. Um, I, I, I'm I, speechless, put it that way. Um, yeah, so whatever's going on is big. <laughs> it's definitely big. Okay, it looks like you have a golden opportunity here. Something that is very solid. It could lead to something solid. This could be a new partner. Or it's some kind of gift, okay? It's some kind of gift that you have manifested. I see. <laughs> happiness. I do see happiness. There's definitely some doubts here, though. Somebody is doubting the happiness. There's some conflict. There's back and forth, some power struggles here. There's definitely some power struggles with your emotions, emotional power struggles. Maybe it's about giving up your independence. That could certainly be the case. I don't know, but this is happy independence. I'm happy, I'm fulfilled, I'm good. Definitely, somebody is really feeling quite abundant at this time and happy, extreme happiness here. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like there's some doubts about success. You know, somebody is feeling like they won't be successful or they maybe they feel like they don't have enough confidence. Something is blocked. Blocked emotions. So somebody is trying to block their true feelings, it looks like. Um, here we have the Empress, which is a, a birth. Okay, it's the birth of something new. So I think that you guys have probably come to a point of inner abundance. You know, that's what this is. The strength, that's, that's inner strength, okay? And with this, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, it looks like somebody is really doing quite well okay somebody is, is absolutely doing very quite well um, probably financially and confident wise okay I do see a lot of confidence here but there's also some some doubts here and there's some some power struggles with that confidence it's like up and down you know at some point you're like probably ready to to pounce and you're on top of the world and there's times where you hit that all-time low but it feels as though There's a birth here. There's something new. Okay, these are both births. So whether it's, this is the birth of something new. Something brand new. And you've manifested it. But this is, these are all, I mean, it looks like you've been brought down, Cancer. Maybe your self-esteem has been brought down in the past. And that's why you're having these doubts about this opportunity. Or the person you're dealing with. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't believe. 
that could absolutely positively be the case. Um, <laughs> now, you may have been dealt with a third party situation that has caused you to block your your heart, you know? Just saying. Um, let's get some clarifiers here. Somebody is, I think you're receiving some sort of gift, a reward. You're receiving a reward of some sort, sort after you have endured some pain, okay? You've endured some pain, found your abundance, It looks like you're taking a step away from negative thinking, a step away from somebody that wasn't well suited for you. You know, you take a step in a new direction. That's what it looks like. It looks like you have made a decision to move forward and face your fears. <laughs> and your fears would be opening your heart because somebody has brought you down in the past so I think your fears are, are definitely allowing this love to to grow to be there is definitely love here so I think that there is an offer of love it's unexpected it is absolutely unexpected and you know it's welcomes it's somebody is is welcoming this offer of love whether it's you or the other person or both of you it just feels like there's a lot of uh or there's a, a playful approach, okay? There's the playful approach. You got, you're starting to feel alive again. It's like something is being revived. And it's not, I don't think it's a reconciliation with somebody from your past, because this is no reconciliation, no reunion, nothing to celebrate with this person that you weren't well suited for. I think that there's a, this is becoming alive again. Oh, getting past the difficulty, the storm is over. The storm is over. So the negative thinking, which is underneath here, your pessimism is starting to dissipate. And your playful side is coming back. It is coming back. It's coming out. It is absolutely coming out. Um, but this is a trickster right here. This is a trickster. Something could be a trick. And that could be the fear. The fear could be that this is a trick. This is too good to be true. Somebody could have some hidden agendas. You know, you could be dealing with a very cunning individual or it could be you. <laughs> or whoever you were dealing with was just bitter and resentful. That, that has Whoever this person is, this is a bitter and resentful person. Lonely, angry. And this is deceitful. So I think that, but I think that's over. I think you're, yeah, I think that you have avoided a much bigger disaster with somebody else. You may have, you may have released a somebody that hurt you really bad, involved you in a third party situation, whatever. And you've avoided, and now there's definitely, you may be dealing with one person in this dynamic who is resentful about your happiness. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like you are coming out of the, a darkness. You're come. You're beginning to realize that you're not a victim, and I think that you're opening your up, open yourself, opening yourself up, putting yourself out there. I do see a new opportunity. I think you've avoided a big disaster by finding your strength and courage to do something. To walk away. Son of a bitch. And I was going to put, you have, you've avoided a much bigger disaster by walking away from something. Finding the courage and the strength to walk away from something. You've avoided the shit storm. A bigger one. And I feel as though you may have been in hiding. You may have been in hiding for a while waiting for the perfect time to go get whatever you needed to get. Living with your own insecurities. Maybe you were you were too insecure to go get what you needed to get. What you wanted to get. You were just too insecure.
and I think maybe you were clinging to something. Maybe you were clinging to a grudge or you were clinging to your own insecurities from the past. The old memories of whoever this person that, that abused you in some way, whatever, whoever this person was, those insecurities from the past have held you back from refinding that playful approach, refinding that playful you. And I think that you've come to the point where you found the strength to let go of those memories and not, I mean, not that they're gone, but to not let them hold you back from from finding your power and, and moving forward. I definitely think there's some communication that is coming through. You've received some sort of clarity, whether it's from above or it's from another person. You've received some sort of clarity, a wake-up call, a wake-up call that is, is, a, is moving you forward. No longer in denial, seeing it as it is. You guys have walked away from something, and it, it could even be as little as a grudge, but it could be a person as well. And I feel like you guys are opening up. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. It's like you found the confidence after it had been gone. And the courage and the strength to get your shit back together. To put yourself, to put yourself back out there. So I feel like you guys have made the decision to, to take the lead in your own life. You know, to, to make, it, make some sort of decision to, to fo move forward. You guys are headed in a new direction, like, whoo, 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 it's like you're flying on that horse, and I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah, that horse is in, like, uh, oh, I don't know what happened, I really don't, I can't even say the words, I don't even, can't even think, but it's like, that horse got a good swift kick in the ass and took off running, Okay, so I don't even know what happened, but um, something happened, and um, now it's like you're probably you're probably like, oh my god, you don't even know what's going on. Things could be a little back and forth at this time. You may be feeling a little unbalanced, like you need to slow down. You need to slow down a little bit. And maybe you do need to slow down a little bit. Maybe things are a little chaotic because, I mean, this is overwhelming. Maybe things are a little overwhelming because things are happening so fast. And maybe you just need to take a minute to slow down and, and grasp whatever is happening. You know, just take a minute to, to think about this and to slow down and to make a logical decision as to what your plan is going to be in the future. Um you need to take time to sit back and listen to your intuition, okay? Because it feels like you're just, it feels like somebody is trying to escape time. You know what I mean? It's like all good things happen in time, okay? So I think that we might need to slow down a little bit. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying that. But there's a very fast moving night next to the, next to the slowest moving, the, you know, okay? So... Somebody is, is, and that's the temperance card reversed, okay? It's, it's like, okay, all right, you know, things are a little too much right now. Take a minute to slow down, okay? Just, it's, and I hate to give that advice, I really do, um, because when you're on this kind of momentum, you know, and you're headed in a new direction, it can be really, really, really excited. Exciting, exciting. And, um, oh my goodness. There, there it is, okay, there it is, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I could be dealing with an earth sign, and, you know, this is about being practical, it's about um, nurturing, don't, don't, um, go too fast because you could you could act recklessly okay whoever you're dealing with may feel like this is reckless they may feel like um, they're being taken advantage of you may feel like you're being taken advantage of so just I think that, that there's something is happening that is is uh, it's very fast paced and it needs to slow down so that nobody you know gets hurt <laughs> Um, not saying that anybody's going to get hurt, but this is like, so it doesn't end before it starts, you know, give it a chance, you know, give it a chance to come off the, off the ground. This is grounded. You need to be grounded. You know, 
and this is ungrounded so you know it's it's a fantasy in the temperance is you know could be like a fantasy so it's it's like we have to get grounded here we have to come back to reality okay we have to you know really think about this for a second before we just you know act like this so um but and I feel like somebody is ready to jump, ready, ready, ready to take that risk, ready to take a serious risk, okay? And then um And then it might not at the time might not be right now. It might not be right now because lack of putting in effort. Somebody is not putting in enough effort. Lack of wish fulfillment from walking away. Somebody has walked away because there was no wish fulfillment. Somebody didn't put in effort, and now they're afraid to take a risk. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. So that's exactly what it is. You're dealing with a person that is afraid to take a risk. I'm sorry I get so excited. Um, I'm not getting excited. Well, um, you are dealing with a person that is afraid of being taken advantage of cancer, so you're really going to have to, I don't know what you're going to have to do. You're going to just have to be honest. You're just going to have to do the right thing. You know, just be honest with this person. Keep an open line of communication with that Ace of Swords. Um, this is karmic, okay? It's karma and it's decisions and it's about um, doing the right thing. So whatever this is, this is, this is justice being served. Okay, this is something actually, oh goodness gracious, this is something that is asking for you to have faith in time, okay, in time, give it time, you know, time. This is Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this is Libra, okay, so it doesn't really matter what the signs are, but this is commitment. This is long-term commitment. This is marriage. This is faith and trust. This is listening to your inner guide. This is hold up. You know, take your time. It is. It is. It's. It's. It's not in a hurry. Okay. So, and I know that's that's really hard for me to say those words. It really, really is. But this is a test. Okay. This is whatever's happening right now is a test of your strength, a test of your faith, a test of your willpower, a test of the connection. Okay. So if you know, you have to give it time and work out some kinks, then perhaps that's what you need, need to do. So, um, whatever it is that is this golden opportunity right here that is being offered to you, it does, it is commitment. It is commitment. It is, it is very real. Okay. She's the queen of reality. It's real. And I feel like you may be doubting it, or the other person may be doubting it, or you're both doubting it, okay? Somebody is doubting it because of the past hurts that, you know, have taught them the lessons about karma. So, I mean, it is what it is, right? So, oh, goodness gracious. Fear, fear of lack of, fear of, of lack of wish fulfillment. That's what this is. Cancer. What the hell is this? What's going on? I want future. I want prediction. <laughs> okay, this is real. Whoever you're dealing with, it's real. It's it's very, very real. Um, it could lead to marriage. It absolutely could lead to marriage, whoever you're dealing with. Um, you have to get out of your head and the other person, whoever you're dealing with, somebody is stuck in their head, but it's, look at this, I mean, it's it could lead to happily ever after, okay? Good chance it's, a, it's an earth sign, okay? Um, and maybe, maybe you are going to help each other get out of mental turmoil. There's been rejection that is holding somebody back. There's fear of rejection. So if you're dealing with somebody that's pulling back, please understand it's because of fear of rejection. That's what it is. This is happiness. 
And then we have that sun under there. There's extreme happiness here. But there's, there's fears, okay? There's absolutely fears on both sides. This is a solid offer. It is. This is about sticking with it even if it's not easy. Being patient. Being patient to work through the kinks. I wonder, I mean, I don't know. I think this is a soulmate connection. I, I don't have that yet, but I think it is. I think that there's a... Letting go of the need to control. Somebody is letting go. Or, yeah, well, that could be the case. Or somebody is too controlling. But that ship that you've been raiding for is, is here. It's here. It's, at, it's here. It's here. Your, your, your prayer is being answered. It's here. But this is about needing to just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Don't try to control it. Give it time. So Cancer, I feel like there is a solid, stable situation here that it leads to extreme happiness. The only problem is doubts and fears. Fear of rejection, fear of this not working out. That's just a fear. It's just a worry. Don't stop. Let it go. It's time to get back down to reality because whatever is going on, it's very, very real. And it, and it, and, and it could lead to marriage. But you can't try to control it. Just whew, go with it. Happiness, marriage. If that's what you want. I mean, I don't know if that's what you want. Is that what you want? Because there's marriage here. Okay, there is. There's a union. There's, there's extreme bliss. Oh, jeez, I'm crawl. <laughs> you know they, they do this all the time. There is absolutely a marriage, a union. I want to grow old with you going on here. Definitely something to celebrate, Cancer. Absolutely. said time I desert passage trust there's a divine plan even if it seems that life has areas of barrenness beneath the surface life is transforming in accordance with your highest good trust that you are guided even if it doesn't always seem like it there are spiritual guides alleys and angels surrounding you listen with your heart and you may not have been, okay? Listen with your heart, because it doesn't look like you have been. Just follow your heart. Act on your instincts. Believe that the messages are being given are in your highest good. Get down to the basics. Trust what you feel. And this is just summing up the whole reading. The doubts, let go of them. The desert path can seem like a vast wasteland, yet... It is in the isolation that immense insights and intuition can emerge. In times of old, sages and visionaries retreated into the desert to connect more deeply with spirit. If in the past you trusted your instincts and then later it seemed to be a mistake, 
Don't let that keep you from trusting your intuition now. Often those things that we thought were mistakes in the past, in hindsight, were the best possible things for us at the time. As you open to your intuition, you will sense messages from the loving presence of your spirit guides and ancestors. There is a potent plan for your life. Trust. Go with the flow, like I said. This is something that is real. Happy. <laughs> it's real, real, real happy. So congratulations. Talk to you later.